Hello everyone, this is Bharat Singla and welcome to Codeshare. This is the one-stop destination for you to master competitive programming. Great, so let's get started. Today, we are going to discuss the extended Euclid's GCD algorithm, which is assumed to be very tough, but I am trying my best to simplify it. In fact, it is one of the simplest algorithms that exist. Once you have a good hold on the prerequisite, that is the previous video, that is Euclid's GCD algorithm. So this algorithm help this algorithm helps us to find the value given a and b. We want to find the value of x and y such that ax plus by is nothing but the GCD of a and b. So in a way we are given we know the value of a, b and GCD of a and b as well, right? If we know and a and b. So we want to find any integer solutions to x and y. Cool. So one thing I want to clear is that this cannot be solved mathematically. So you cannot rearrange the equations and you will get the value of x and y. No, it is basically not possible, but we can do it algorithmically. So when we cannot do something at one go, we must try to do it in multiple goes, right? And this hints us recursion. And also because this is also a recursive algorithm. Right, finding the GCD of two numbers can be done recursively as we discussed in the previous video. So if we can find out the values for a sub problem, say for some other, if we can find the coefficients X and Y for some other values of the RHS, then using them, can I get X and Y? So that's what we are going to discuss. So remember that this is nothing but GCD of B and a mod B. This is something we discussed in the previous video. So if you haven't given it a watch, make sure to first go through that. Okay. So this is again GCD of two numbers, right? So it must have something again of this form. And this for your information is uh, a linear diaph and dyne equation. So this is also a GCD of two numbers, then it will also have something. So this again can be written as B x2 plus a mod b y2 right so this is again expressing it in terms of coefficients of two numbers great so here we have an equation so we can retrace it that ax plus by is nothing but b x2 x2 and y2 are something we can find recursively and using them we are trying to build x and y plus a mod b y2 great so this is what we have clearly ended up with by representing gcd of a comma b as gcd of b comma a mod b now we have that a mod b is something that is not very defined so remember this equation from class 4 that dividend is nothing but the quotient Damn. It's nothing but the cosh. <laughs> it's nothing but the quotient times the divisor plus the remainder. Right? And from this we have that the remainder, which is nothing but A mod B, right, is equal to dividend minus quotient into divisor. So what is the dividend? Dividend is A. From this we can subtract the quotient. Quotient is nothing but A by B's floor. Right. And divisor is nothing but B. So this is the equation that we end up with for A mod B. So A mod B is like the programmic, the algorithmic way. And this is nothing but the mathematical way. So that's how you can represent remainder. Great. So we actually have finished it. So we have ax plus by is equal to bx2 plus a minus a by b's floor times b y2. Great. And here if I open these brackets now, so this is a mathematics heavy video. But anyways, this is pretty rudimentary maths. So you should be able to get it. And here we have bx2 plus a by 2, just opening these brackets, minus A by B's floor times B times 
by 2. Great. Now here I can regroup these terms because they have B in common. So I end up with A by 2 plus B common x2 minus A by B into B. A by B into Y2. So I have grouped these terms and here we go. This remember is nothing but AX plus BY our initial equation. And now we can clearly equate the coefficients. So we get X equals Y2 equating the coefficient of A and we have Y equals X2 minus A by B times Y2. And this is here you go. If we can find out recursively the value of x2 and y2, then we can find the value of x given by y2 and y given by this long equation. So this is the algorithm in fact. Now if we do this recursively and we can also have a base case, right? The base case will simply be when a is uh, when you have a and 0. So you get that when a and when you have a and 0, right what is the value of x and y such that ax plus 0 y is equal gcd of a and 0 which we know is a right and here we can simply have x equals 1 and y equals anything for convenience we can have y equals 1 great so this is the whole idea let's quickly code it out as well So I have pasted a sample input 55 and 80. So let's see if we get the correct output for that. So we have A and B. Let's input them. And let's output. Uh, let's store the result actually. In a pair. That will be X extended GCD. Of A and B. Great. And let's output. In fact, let's destructure it so we can have x and y auto x and y is equal to this and we can output x and y. Cool. So let's implement this extended GCD function that will take two numbers a and b and return a pair of x and y such that ax plus by equals GCD of a and b. Great. So you have pair of int and int extended gcd that takes a and takes b and here it checks that if b equals 0 then what we had to return was remember this is the base case so we can return 1 and anything so here clearly a1 a into 1 plus b into plus a0 so 0 into anything is always equals to gcd of a and 0 that is a so a into 1 plus anything into 0 is a so we can return this pair then what we'll do is we'll store the result of the recursion. So that is x2 and y2 if we can get by again calling this function. So this is a recursion. And here I'll call it for b and a modulo b. Great. So here I can simply just say that x equals int x equals what we had was y2. Right. And what we have for y is x2 minus a by b times y2. Okay. So x2 minus a by b into y2. So this can be now stored into y. Right. So I have x as y2. This is nothing but what we have discussed above. And now I can return this pair of x and y. Great. So this is the algorithm. Right, pretty short and pretty easy to understand. It's just basic mathematics. So let's quickly run this. So we get minus 13 and 9. So let's see if 55 into minus 13 plus 9 into 80 is equals GCD of 55 and 80. That is 5. What we'll do is we'll type 55. So this is something I want to show you. 55 into minus 13 plus 80 into 9. Cool. Great. So let's see what we get. So we get 5 
and the GCD of 55 and 80 is also 5. So yes, that is it for these two videos and this playlist. This was all about how to find the GCD of two numbers in C++ or you can also use the built-in function underscore underscore GCD and to find out the coefficients for that given linear Diophantine equation where ax plus by is GCD of a and b, you can use this recursive definition again and these equations are something that we have derived mathematically by manipulating the value of what actually mod is. So what a mod b is, is that long equation and using them we have recursively found the values of the coefficients. So this was it for this video guys. If you like the video or learned something new, make sure to hit the like button and leave down any comment you want me to read. This is Bharat Singla from Codeship signing off for now and I will see you next time.